we need is some rain. I yeah. mean, that's yeah. thing that yeah. we all know. And, you know, what we don't need is wind to dry us mm. out even more. And we have a batch around of wind headed this way. The National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory for late tonight. Starts at midnight. Will run until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, just in time for the morning commute. Of course, this is north of Salt Lake. If you're north of Salt Lake up in Davis and Weber counties, you may want to give yourself some extra time. We're looking at canyon winds east 25 to 35 miles per hour, gusts up to around 55. These winds will be strong, especially across I-15 and US-89, and probably a good idea to secure anything that's outside that likes to blow away or completely disintegrate during a windstorm if you're especially north of Salt Lake City. The reason for the wind, well, that same high pressure system that's creating the dangerous heat over the Pacific Northwest will create enough wind that will veer from the east and those canyon winds will get going right north of Salt Lake City. So at the mouth of the canyons, you know the usual spots, the wind will really crank up. The worst part of the wind will be early morning. So FYI, if you're traveling early, morning commute, it's going to be a white knuckle day as you have both hands on the steering wheel. There's that dangerous heat in Portland and in Seattle. Seattle 110, Phoenix 109, Portland 115, Phoenix and Las Vegas 109. Something's wrong with that, huh? <laughs> it's so hot. They have never been this hot. In fact, Portland tomorrow will set another all-time record high of 115. So I guess we should stop complaining about our 90s here, right? We'll take it. 96 in Elko tomorrow, wind over 95. Tooele, you'll finally hit 90. You're back in the game. 92 in Fillmore, upper 80s over in Ely with sunshine all over the place. In fact, we just keep getting sunnier, and as we get sunnier, we get warmer, we get hotter. St. George tomorrow, definitely another hot one, 103. But, yeah, stay in St. George because if you go north, well, it's going to be a good 12 degrees hotter in Portland. 92 in Kanab tomorrow, 92 in Hanksville, 92 in Bullfrog. Seems like that's going to be a popular afternoon high, and we'll be in the mid-80s in Vernal and Duchesne. We'll call it mostly sunny. Back home in the Wasatch front and back on the back side, Park City at 82. On the front side, 94 in Salt Lake City, which is a little hotter than it was today. 95 for a high in Ogden. Now for southern Utah, just one more day of triple-digit heat, and then we get a little bit of a cool down. Tuesday, wow, mid-90s, we'll take it. And look at that Wednesday. That, that's in St. George, 91 degrees. Wednesday's the best chance of getting wet, too. Showers and thunderstorms possible. And then we'll keep that threat going into Thursday. We start working our way back up just in time for the holiday weekend. Huh? You know, we can't have the 4th of July around here and not have it be hot. And that it will be very hot. High of 104 next Sunday. Watch that front. We'll be in the mid-90s for the next couple of days. Starting Tuesday, we'll back off a little bit. And you may want to just pack along that umbrella just in case. I know wishful thinking here, but we may see some showers and thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday barely 90 and then there is our hot for the weekend yeah just in time for the holiday saturday 100 salt lake city on sunday for the fourth of july 102